Hey all you chopper jockeys and gearheads out there, this is Rich at Petoniac Cycle. This week on Shop Talk, I'm going to show you the modifications you have to make inside your engine case when you run a set of stroker flywheels. I have this s, &S tool here, and I'm going to show you what to do with it. Stay tuned. Alright, when building a stroker motor, the <clears throat> crank pin is moved out further from center hence being a stroker so the stroke is longer so it's moved out farther on the diameter of the flywheel is farther from center out so the farther out it is the longer the stroke it is so on this four and three quarter stroker shovel that i'm doing this is moved out farther so what there is is there's a little tool that i'm going to show you it shows you where to relieve the cases on the uh that'll clear this nut so that way this nut doesn't hit inside the cases okay like i was showing you on the crank itself how the crank pin nut is moved out farther so there's this gauge from s and s here <clears throat> that shows you where to relieve the material inside the case to make sure that it'll clear the crank nut so that way it doesn't hit on here and you have to go over to here and clears this material that's over here up the up up here as well and over on on this little boss that's sticking up here in the casting so these castings that are sitting up higher here and here they got to be brought back down so that way it'll clear all the way around so what you do you put a scribe in the hole here and then you just scribe a line that way you'll know <clears throat> where to clearance it and you do the same thing on this side over here and over there and just mark that and then you have to clearance bring this down so and you bring it down to this level here and that'll be enough clearance for the crank nut so that's uh, one of the mods another modification you have to do when building a stroker motor